Okay, we're going to go through the uh, steps to actually set up source control using Mercurial in Domino Designer 9. There's uh, really only two big steps, well, three big steps, I guess. Um, first step is we have to install the Mercurial pl uh, Eclipse plugin, which will enable the features within Domino Designer. The second step is to install the Mercurial binary files, which actually provide the connection to a re local repository or a remote repository. And then finally, we actually need to set up source control on an NSF. And so those are the steps we're going to go through. Um, the first thing is you need to make sure that you can actually install plugins in your Domino Designer client. Now, this is a brand new clean production install of Domino Designer 9. And if I go to the file menu and I look at application, what I don't see is the install menu choice. So that means I haven't turned on the ability to, in to install Eclipse plugins. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to Preferences here. I'm going to find Domino Designer, and I'm going to turn on the switch that says Enable Eclipse Plugin Install, and click OK. As soon as I do that, the application menu should now include an install option. So now we're all set up to install the plugin. So we've, we're going to say Install. We want to search for new features to install. Uh, Eclipse basically installs bolt-in plugins and features via uh, an update site mechanism. And so we're going to go and say next, and it's going to say, great, what update sites do you want me to look for? And you may have some in here, but you may not. In any case, you need to have listed the update site that contains the Mercurial plugins. So I just happen to have over here in this text file the URL of the Eclipse update site. Back in Designer, I'm going to add a remote location. I'm going to give it a name. You can name it whatever you want. Something that makes sense would make sense. And you're going to just type in or enter or paste in that whole URL. And now we've established an update site. So when we say finish, it's going to run out there that website and it's going to look for some plugins to install. And it found the Mercurial plugin. And if I look in the stable releases, I'm going to see that the latest re release is 2.0.1. Blah, blah, blah. You don't want to install this one because um, it's a little too uh, current for the Eclipse version that's in Domino Designer. So we need to go down here and turn off the switch that says only show the latest version of a feature per update site. When you do that, you're going to see all of the versions that they have at that update site. And um, I found 1.7.1 to be to be the one that works. Um, I know other people have gotten 1.7.2 to work, but I don't see a .2 in here. Um, and I tried 1.8.0, I couldn't get it to work. So, but stick with 1.7.1, unless you want to spend some time playing around with it. But uh, I'll show you how to uninstall it if you need to. So when you do next, it's going to say, "Are you sure? Do you want to accept the license agreement?" Yes, I do. It's going to verify for you what you're installing. You're going to do a finish. Now it's going to prompt you and say, are you really sure you want to do this? It defaults to no. So make sure you click install this plugin and then OK. Life's good. La 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 la. It's going to prompt you to restart your Eclipse client, which is really Domino Designer and Eclipse. I'm logging back into Notes. It's going to think about it. Once it restarts, we're going to go into Designer and we're going to verify that the Mercurial plugin is actually installed. So let's give that a second. So the Notes client is all awake. We're going to go to Domino Designer. And there's two places to check if the plugin got installed. So first one is if you go into File Preferences and you do a little quick search for Mercurial, you should actually now have a Mercurial configuration or preference in the preferences. That is from the plugin. The other place you can look is you can go into File Application, Application Management. In Application Management, you can open up into the application area for Eclipse, and you should be able to see the Mercurial Eclipse plugin, and it'll show you some information over here. Now, if you want to uninstall this plugin and try to install 1.8, 1.8.5, or whatever, then you can uninstall it here. It'll just, it'll just require a, uh, a restart of Domino Designer again. 
So great, we've got the plugin installed. Now we need to install the binaries. The binaries, the mercurial binaries, are what actually provide the connection to uh, either a local or a remote repository. And so the website for that is here. And I've actually got that website up right here. It has the latest releases. Um, I went ahead and downloaded 2.5.4 for both 32-bit and 64-bit. I've tested them both. They both work. Um, and so if I go over here into my download area and I just run the 64-bit install, it's just exactly like you would think. Normal old install, taking all the option, all the defaults. It's going to run and do its thing. And again, what it's installing now are the mercurial binaries, which provide the glue from your client, your Eclipse plugin client, to your actual repositories, the repo. So if that's all working, <clears throat> then there's a couple things that we need to do. Number one, we need to go back in the file preferences area, find the mercurial, and we need to locate the actual executable. So you're going to want to go into wherever you just installed it, which is typically program files, mercurial. We're already in that f area, and we're going to look for the HG, which is mercurial uh, executable, and you're going to want to open that. Now you've told your Eclipse or your Domino Designer where the actual uh, mercurial binaries are located and then you'll want to put in a default username this is used for when you do commits um, in general if your configuration doesn't look just like this one I'd configure it to look just like this one except uh, put in you know your name here and make sure that this actually points to the binaries on your hard drive so we'll click OK and theoretically we've got everything set up to do source control so let's um, let's open up an NSF Here's an NSF. We're going to right click and start the actually set up source control for this NSF. So we go to right click, team development, set up source control for this application. It's going to give you some instructions. You're going to say next. You're going to give it a, uh, a name, repo test. And again, th you'll see here, this is where it actually puts your repo, your repository. We're going to say finish, it's going to do everything, and now it's made <clears throat> a clone of your NSF, except it's cloned it into a local repository. At that point, you are now almost done. If you right click on the project itself, the repo project, and you share that project, the Mercurial binaries will now try to actually turn that into a Mercurial repository. So we right click life's good you're gonna get all these little indicators that that say hey these there's uncommitted changes to the repo and um, we're gonna save using the repository for the next installment okay thanks